What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing the game Advanced the Boardwalk. This game is for two to four players and it was made in 1985. Now uh, this game, even though it has the Monopoly guide and it has Advanced the Boardwalk the title, this is not a Monopoly type of a game. This is a completely different game. Um, this game has some light strategy in it and this is a game my wife and I enjoy playing. So anyway, let me show you how to play it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just introduce to you all these uh, pieces and units and what they do and the board itself. All right, the first thing you're going to notice is you've got a boardwalk here, and there's different numbers on it. It ranges from 1 million to 61 million. The object of the game is to be the person to either reach all the way at the end of the boardwalk at 61 million, or be the person that has the most money when all of these uh, units right here have been used up by one of the players. That's how you're going to win the game. Now, basically what's going to happen during this game is you're going to roll these dice, and uh, these dice basically represent millions of dollars here. This dice has four colors on it, uh, and a wild and a fortune card here, and the colors represent these different colors right here. So what's going to happen essentially is you're going to roll these dice, and whatever color you get along with the money is going to be the amount of money that you'll be able to spend on these lots. And I'll explain how that works here in just a second. Um, these units are basically what you're going to be using to buy these lots. And um, these are here what are called fortune cards. Now you can play one of these per turn, and they're rather cool because they have a lot of different things that you can do with them. Um, you can basically uh, steal your opponent's lots. You can uh, uh, you can uh, add money to your pool that you're trying to spend. There's a lot of different cards in here, and they can really add to strategy. And each player gets two of these in the beginning. So let me go ahead and just start playing the game and show you how it works. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and roll. Let's just say, for example, I roll a four, and I have a red here. So this is going to allow me to spend $4 million on the red zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look around and see what I want. I'm going to go ahead and place a unit here and say I want to buy this. So I take it, and I'm going to put this in my pile. So that basically means I've spent $4 million and got a condo, so I'm going to move my piece up to four, which gives me $4 million right here. Now, I also have fortune cards, so if I decide to, I can go ahead and play a fortune card. I have a fortune card here that says an $8 million contract, which allows me to build one unit on top of any hotel or vacant lot worth $8 million or less. So I'm going to go ahead and play this card, and this basically tells me I can build $8 million worth of units on anywhere. So what I'm going to do is, just for example, I'm going to build one here and one here on the blue. This is $8 million and five and three in the blue. So now I'm going to go ahead and move eight more, which puts me on $12 million, and my turn is over. Okay? So now my, my opponent goes, and he rolled a fortune card. Now what happens here if you roll an F is you can only use a fortune card on your turn, so he's going to get to draw one. These dice are disregarded. So my opponent's going to draw a fortune card, and we're going to look at what he has here. Um, he's got $6 million contract, a $5 million contract, and what's called a transfer and build. Um, now he can't really use this yet, but he can use these contracts. So I'm going to go ahead and put a $6 million contract down. This will allow him to build, um, spend $6 million on a, a hotel lot. So I'm going to go ahead and have him spend one here. So he picks that up, and he's going to move to the $6 million space. All right. So anyway, over time, all these spaces are going to basically be getting filled up here. And uh, here's what's going to happen. Eventually, you're going to run out of places probably to build, so you're going to have to build on top of these units. Now, a unique thing about this game is you can actually build more than one unit on a lot, provided you have the money to spend. So let's say you rolled an 8 and you had a blue here. Okay, you could cho If you chose to, you could actually put two units here. You would spend, you'd spend $8 million, but you would get $4 million back. Now, a reason you might want to do this would be to protect yourself from losing your unit to your opponent. What can happen is, and I'll give you an example, let's say my opponent rolls a 10 with a yellow, okay? Now, he can go ahead if he decided to. He could, be a, he could build one here and here and take these. But let's say he wanted to kind of mess me up a little bit. He could actually build two units here on the five million. Now, he has more units than I do, so that would mean that he would end up getting uh, my property. So it would go to him, he would move up five, three, four, five, and I would move back five. Excuse me. 
here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, basically, the way this works is um, whoever has if whoever has uh, the unit on the bottom, basically, if there's like say two units of mine on there and two units of his, I get to keep it because it, um, I the, I guess I get the tie. Whoever's on the bottom. So in order for the opponent to get it, he has to have more units than me. So eventually what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up playing some of these cards that will allow you, and here's a perfect example, the transfer and build. It says, move any one of your units from the top of any hotel to the top of another hotel or vacant lot. So let's say I had like a, uh, a unit here. I could actually move it here and steal back my property. And then it would go back and forth like this. So that's kind of basically how the game works. Um, it's a rather cool game. It is some strategy involved and some luck, but ultimately you're going to end up either using all these pieces or you're going to get all the way to the end there. And there's a lot of back and forth that goes with this game, but the winner of this game, as I had said, will be the one that gets all the way to this, the $61 million lot first, or will be the one that has the most money when somebody has used up all of their units. And that is this game.